Discover Das e Salem, 10 Tourist Attractions. Tanzania is filled with beautiful and amazing cities that are good tourist destinations. Dar e Salem is a major city and commercial port on the coast of the Indian Ocean in Tanzania that developed from a fishing village. The word Das e Salem is developed from an Arabic word which means the abode of peace and it's the busiest and largest city in this country. This city is a burgeoning port city and commercial centerpiece for much of Eastern and Central Africa. Dar e Salem is a rich melting pot of ancient cultures and modern lifestyles. This city is home to Tanzania's major port. Das e Salem is filled with desirable location and natural harbor, coastline, natural reserves, botanic gardens, stunning natural parks, and much more. Here's some interesting place to visit and things to know about Das e Salem. Please take a moment to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Africa Reload for more interesting updates. 10. St. Joseph's Cathedral This cathedral was built by German missionaries from 1897 through 1902. This Gothic-style Roman Catholic church looks a little incongruous amid the steel and glass skyscrapers bristling along the harbor front. It is a cool and calming place to sit and reflect on a hot day. The Dar e Salem Archdiocese's seat, St. Joseph Cathedral, has several notable features that make it worthwhile to visit. Its shingled spire, vaulted interior, and exquisite stained glass windows are the most remarkable features. Many of the original German inscriptions and artwork may be found throughout the cathedral, including a carved relief over the main altar. St. Joseph's Metropolitan Cathedral is located on Sakoin Drive, directly across from the Zanzibar Ferry Terminal and within the Dar e Salem CBD. It's also close to the White Father's Home, Magagoni Creek, and BRT routes. Visit this church to marvel at the beauty of this gold-plated structure. 9. National Museum and House of Culture Tanzania's Museum and House of Culture is the first and largest of these institutions. It can be found on Dar e Salem's Shavin Robert Street. It was built between 1938 and 1939 and opened to the public in 1940. Since 1940, the National Museum of Tanzania, formerly known as the King George V Museum of England, has inherited the collections and other resources of the National Museum of Tanzania, which is the country's largest and oldest museum. The National Museum and House of Culture hosts both indoor, permanent exhibition galleries, and outdoor, aquarium, trees, butterfly catch gardens, hope out of sorrow, historical state automobiles, and so on, exhibitions. It now has four permanent exhibitions, comprising galleries dedicated to art, history, human evolution, and rock art. The permanent exhibition halls for biology and ethnography are now being built. In the same vein, the National Museum and House of Culture oversees six storage rooms for collections of art, archaeology, biology, ethnography, history, and paleontology, as well as a strong room for vital national treasures. 8. M. Wenge Woodcarver's Market The M. Wenge Woodcarver's Market, located in the heart of Dar e Salem, is bustling with artists hard at work, crafting beautiful and distinctive goods. Wooden masks are particularly popular, but artisan shops selling a wide range of items from textiles to sandals, beaded necklaces, and more will also have gems. Unlike numerous tourist marketplaces across the world, merchants in this market do not bother customers. They will encourage you to visit their store, but you will not be pressured to make a purchase. Remember to haggle and browse around in the market because prices are adjustable and you may be able to locate a similar item for half the price at another vendor. M. Wenge Woodcarver's Market appears unassuming at first glance, but walk through the central opening and you'll find yourself in the midst of over 100 shops selling a diverse range of beautiful woodwork. 7. Askari Monument Dar e Salam, Tanzania's largest commercial city, has a variety of German colonial memory sites, which include buildings, statues, and open spaces. The origins of the Askari Monument, a life-size bronze construction of the King's African Rifleman near the intersection of Samra Avenue and Maktava Street, can be traced back to German times. The monument was built in the 1920s to replace the Wisman Monument, 
which was built in 1906 in honor of Major Hauptmann Hermann von Wismann, a German commander Reichskommissar, who suppressed African rebellion in East Africa. Coastal resistance, particularly that led by Swahili Arab trader of Ashiri Ivan Salam al Harfai, provided a significant threat to the Deutsch Ostafrikanisch Jesselschaft Og. The Abashiri soldiers, for example, set fire to the Benedictine mission station at Pugu on January 13, 1889, killing three missionaries. 6. Kandachi Water Park Wet N Wild is a six-acre entertainment and recreation facility, the largest in East and Central Africa, that offers a wide range of activities. Water slides, some as high as six stories, children's water play systems, sports grounds, restaurants, go-karts, and a quad bike track, the first and only in Tanzania. Kandachi Water Parks is in the middle of Dar e Salaam, Tanzania. It's an amusement park that provides room for you to arrange activities that you'd like to do or be a part of. It has the manpower and capacity to do so for you. 5. Kivu Kony Fish Market Dar e Salaam is primarily a corporate and government hub, with manufacturing also contributing significantly to the economy. We wanted to see the market since they are, in my opinion, the heart and soul of a city. Fishing has always been a significant part of Dar's culture. The city was founded as a fishing community, therefore the first stop was the Kivu Kony fish markets. The markets, unlike any other I'd seen, are a big jumble of tables where the fish has been strewn. On one table, there were similar species of fish, but on another, there were fish of all sizes. Some were being auctioned, while others were being sold. Fish that had been purchased were being cleaned and fried in another building. 4. Ambudia Island Ambudia, an uninhabited island north of Tanzania's major city, Dar e Salaam, is one of the four islands that make up the Dar e Salaam Marine Reserve. This beautiful island in the middle of the Indian Ocean resembles Dar e Salaam's Zanzibar. Ambadia Island, with its white sand beaches and crystal clear turquoise waters, is the ideal getaway for anyone looking to escape the rush and bustle of Dar e Salaam. Sunbathing, snorkeling, swimming and simply hanging out on the beach with friends are all popular activities on this island. Ambadia Island is only a 20-minute boat ride from Dar e Salaam's mainland. To catch a local speed boat from Dar e Salaam to Ambadia Island, go to Kibo Beach or Chengwani Sea Breeze Resort in the Embezi region and pay the Ambadia Island government fees and boat fees to a local boatman. Every half hour, a boat is available. Depending on how many people you're bringing, there are a variety of sizes available. The biggest boats can accommodate up to 40 people. The boat ride can be a little bumpy. If you get seasick easily, Take some anti-seasickness medication before you go. 3. Kogo Beach Kogo Beach is a length of beachfront in Dar e Salaam, Tanzania's Oyster Bay neighborhood. It is one of the city's most well-known beaches, with citizens flocking to it for beach parties and festivals during the holidays. As a result, there are a variety of businesses on the beach, including restaurants, food stands and shops that rent beach equipment like floaters. Joggers frequent Coco Beach, many of whom come from adjacent neighborhoods and can be seen in greater numbers in the evening. At the northern end, there is only one large, well-established restaurant. The rest are smaller, tarp-covered eateries that provide decent food. 2. Hudzagwa Mountains National Park Hudzagwa Highlands National Park is a wildlife refuge in central Tanzania, between the Iringa and Morogoro regions of the Eastern Arc Mountains, 60 kilometers south of Mikumi National Park on the Mikumi Ifakara Road. The national park was established in 1992 by Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands, the founder of the World Wide Fund, and covers a total area of 1,990 square kilometers, with vegetation types such as Mayambo woodland, grassland, tropical rainforest, and mountain forests serving as habitats for abundant wildlife, such as elephants, bushbucks, palm civets, leopards, duikers, myambo genets, hyenas, over 400 bird species, 2,500 plowed animals, and wasomwa, a Kihau word that means those who live on the edges of the mountains. 
inspired the creation of Udzigwa Mountains National Park. 1. Oyster Bay In the bustling metropolis of Dar e Salaam, the majestic Oyster Bay Hotel is located. Only eight tastefully designed suites are available, each with fantastic ocean views, plush king-size mattresses, stunning in suit bathrooms, air conditioning, a ceiling fan, television and exquisite French doors leading to a private terrace. Delicious meals are served in the elegant dining room, as well as al fresco on the veranda and pool deck. A welcoming study room allows guests to catch up on emails or read an unfinished book, while a dazzling swimming pool offers a calm respite to enjoy a refreshing cocktail while soaking up the Tanzanian sun. You'll probably fall in love with Dar e Salaam if you give it some time. Dar is a vibrant seaside city that blends African, Indian, and Arab influences to create a unique urban culture. Dar has grown chaotically in all directions in recent decades, yet it retains much of its charm. With a city center full of charming colonial buildings, Balgain Villa lined streets, and a slew of palm fringed beaches, take trip to this nation and enjoy the beauty of Africa in one nation. Thanks for taking out the time to watch this video till the end. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and turn on your notifications for new Africa Reloaded videos.